everybody and welcome to my channel the prophetic art in um, this is just a welcome video to give you all just a little bit of information on who I am and what God has called me to do my name is Tara Holloway and I am a registered nurse who also has uh, the gift of prophecy and this is via dreams visions um, God speaks to me in so many different ways, audibly, um, as well as music and movies and just all sorts of ways. Though It's amazing the way God can communicate with us when we open ourselves up to hearing him. Um, so just a little bit of background for me. I've been a nurse for uh, a little over 10 years. Um, I've worked in various um, fields, uh, but I would say that my expertise has been in psychiatry, mental health, behavioral health, substance abuse, um, around that area. I have the privilege of starting out as a bedside nurse and working my up to director. So I can give point of views from each aspect of what you see when you are working as a nurse on the floor, as well as in being hands-on with the patient, as well as working behind the scenes in leadership in the administrative role. Okay, so this is something <laughs> that I did not foresee me doing with my life, but many are the plans of man, <laughs> but it's God's plans that prevail, amen? So, um, this was kind of prophesied to me a few years ago. Oh, I see you doing something online. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get an online job. That's, you know, because never ever did I ever desire uh, to be in public light, not like this, or to um, speak prophetically. You know, all of these things um, have lined dormant. You'll learn more about my journey on this channel and my walk with the Lord, um, me, God calling me to speak about mental health is no surprise. Um, at first I didn't quite get it. I didn't like pull it all together. The Holy Spirit actually did that for me, um, to show me that you're speaking from a place, not just professionally, but personally. And so I am here to remove the stigma the stigma of mental health, people being ashamed of, you know, mental health diagnosis. This will be a channel where you can be open. You can be honest. Um, there will be no bullying. Don't be afraid to ask questions um, because trust me, I've seen it all and I have literally lived it all. Uh, my experiences have ranged from working with children to geriatrics. I've worked in forensics. I have literally touch basis on so very much when it comes to mental health and like i said my life personally and we're, we will talk about the everyday struggles and the root cause of mental health we will talk about generational curses warfare and how it mimics mental health disorders um just the whole god has truly been speaking to me and bringing so much to light um, in reference to mental health. And now I do have a disclaimer. I'm not here to diagnose. I am not here to prescribe. I am not here. If you are on a regimen, if you're taking medications or what have you, you will continue to do that. You will continue to do that because everybody's journey is different. And God brings all of these things to earth, to the world, to help those of us that struggle in many areas, not just mental health, but physical health. Um, so I say all that to say, you will see that my journey is really unconventional in a sense. And I will talk about how I overcame a lot as far as mental health is concerned through the power of the Lord. I can't take credit. I really can't. So um, that's why I'm here. I'm here to be that voice. I am here to let you know that it's okay. Uh, let you know that you're not crazy because that's a term people like to use a lot. Um, 
but you know, mental health illness is real. It's real and the struggles are real, everyday life struggles. And believe it or not, a lot of it is rooted in our beginnings. It's rooted in our foundation. It's rooted in our uh, ancestors before us. And so God has truly, truly, truly opened up me spiritually to see things in the spiritual realm of how a lot of things came to be in my life. And I'm, my prayer is that he will do the same thing for you through me. Um, I also, and I will link it uh, to the page eventual, eventually, uh, my website. Um, and it's called loyaltyrnconsult.com. It's where I provide coaching. I provide coaching for mental health, for substance abuse, um, spiritual guidance, life career coaching. Um, <laughs> once again, that is not where I saw my life going. And this is a true testimony of how you can be on a path where God is taking, you are going one way and God is like, no, the more you surrender to me, I'm going to show you who you truly are, that you're going to walk in the authority that I have given you. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. So my life has truly been a Jeremiah 29, 11 moment. Like God has truly, while I'm trying to build my career and Going, headed towards the corporate world, God is like, no, I need you to teach my people. <laughs> so I ask you all to be patient with me as we grow in this together. Um, while I have not battled substance abuse personally, man, it has been a personal journey in my family. I have seen a lot. I have even before I knew I was prophetic, this is like really in the Holy Spirit is just reminding me of this. I could identify before I even became a nurse, <laughs> before I knew I was prophetic, I could literally identify the beginning stages of people around me who were abusing substances. I don't know how. I mean, now I know how that that was the gift that God had given me, but um yeah, so this has truly been my calling my entire life, and y'all, I had no idea. And you're going to learn, too, that it was never really my intention to be a nurse. <laughs> that is something that uh, God led me to do as well. And all of that led up to this very moment because God needed me to help his people. And it was crazy because I had once I did decide to go to nursing school, Y'all, I had every intention of delivering babies. I wanted to be there with the babies when they come out and everything. I was like, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work in labor and delivery. And yeah, <laughs> y'all know babies take their time coming into the world. Ain't nobody got time for that. But um, it didn't take me long for God to redirect me into the mental health field and like I said, it took all of this time now for the Lord to bring it all together. So here I am. I am your prophetic RN and I am on this journey with you. This journey called life. I am here to help you. I will be back later on today. Uh, I will be uh, posting my first prophetic word. Um, this is outside of the mental health. So you'll get different things on this channel. You will get shorts. You will get uh, all things mental health and substance abuse, and you will get prophetic words from the Lord. I've been doing prophetic words now uh, since last year or the end. Yeah, the end of 2020, actually, on Facebook. So God has been urging me, and he sent the confirmation for me to switch everything over to this platform, and here I am. So you all... I just want you to be open um, because I plan to be very transparent. I want to say this too, um, as a disclaimer, my life is a testimony as most of our lives. I am here to tell my story. In no way or form am I putting down my family or putting down other people that have played a part in my testimony. 
Um, I'm not here to hurt anybody. I'm not here to discredit anybody because I've been healed. I've been delivered. God has set me free. And I'm living proof that if you will surrender your life to the Lord, he will set you free. And so now I can use my life as a example of who God is and what he can truly do in us, through us, and for us, if we just allow him. So I wanted to put that disclaimer out there. Yes, I will be telling my story raw and uncut because there's a lot about my life that people don't know. There's a lot about my life that my own family doesn't know. And yes, it includes the people I love. And But like I said, I'm not doing it to hurt them. I'm doing it to help you because God had to have me relive all of this just so I could get to a point where I was healed enough that it could be a testimony for somebody else. And while I'm a very introverted person and a very private person, um, I'm going to always do what thus says the Lord. Um, my life has been consecrated for him uh, for almost two years. God separated me. He isolated me. When I tell you he moved me to the, to the desert <laughs> by myself with nobody and he made me over. And so I am a finished product, but also a work in progress, if you know what I mean. So I am going to utilize this platform to promote my heavenly father. I am going to utilize this platform. We're going to have fun with it. We're going to laugh. We're going to joke. We're going to cry. We're going to do all of those things. But hopefully in all of that, you will learn who God truly is. And I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. I'm not here to make you think that it's all peaches and cream. I'm not here to make you think, oh, you just follow the Lord and everything's going to be a-okay. No, you, he going to break you down. <laughs> okay. And it's going to be hard and you're going to want to give up and you're going to want to cry and you're going to want to scream and you're going to want to do all of those things because it is very, very difficult to be in the world, but not of the world. It is very difficult to have a choice and to be able to make your own decisions but you can't make your own decisions because you're trusting God to lead you and guide you. And I think the Lord is really using me to show people true obedience and how sometimes we can mistake obedience with, because everything's going well, we think it's God's will, but it's not quite like that. So I'm here to just, Tell it how the Holy Spirit gives it to me, how he's been giving it to me, and hopefully that it will bless someone and help change your life, put you on a path that God has chosen for your life, your purpose life, and at the same time, bring some healing. And that is my goal. Um, already, I, I am, God had sent a word to me on more than one occasion telling me that I was an overcomer and I never really considered myself as an overcomer. I just never really thought about it. But when he began over the years to break it down for me and to show all the things that I've overcame and I'm like, you know what, God, if you can do this for me, you can do it for a lot of other people too. And I'm here to help you on that journey. I'm here to help you on that journey. Um, but like I said, Y'all going to have to bear with me because, like I said, I'm a private person and I never discuss my personal life. So this is going to be a journey for me, too. It's going to be a ride for me, too. But whatever it is that God leads me to share, whatever it is that he leads me to say, this is a transparent platform. I'm going to say that. 
and I will be speaking my truth, not to discredit anybody else's pain, not to discredit anybody else's story, not to say that people didn't have just cause, but I'm just here to share my story. So once again, I am Tara Holloway. I am your prophetic RN and welcome to my platform. I will see you all soon with my first prophetic word that the Lord has given me to share. And I will post that sometime today. You all be blessed and I look forward to spending this time with you.